Okay, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Benjamin Pan. I'm the managing director of uh, Yafo Capital. It's my honor and the great pleasure to be here, uh, to be the moderator for the next session. Um, thank, thank Yaki and uh, Yarolno and all the uh, team to organize such amazing uh, education uh, conference. Today, uh, we have lots of uh, participants, guests from China as well. Uh, I'm originally from China, now I'm living in Israel. Uh, so next, our next speaker will be uh, Arthur Shen. Uh, he is the chief data officer from iTutor Group. iTutor Group is also the platinum uh, sponsor for this conference. So let's welcome Mr. Arthur Shen on the stage. Hello, everyone. I'm glad that uh, some of you end your lunch so soon. Just come here to listen to my speech. I, I wish I can share some, you know, constructional ideas with all of you here. Okay. I come from China, and the way we Chinese talk about education, this gentleman is definitely to be introduced. I believe some of you already know who, who he is. Um, he's Confucius. We call him the High Saint, the greatest teacher in Chinese history. Okay. He's so great that he has two very profound missions for education. We write in Chinese, we call it Yu Jiao Wu Lei, actually. This is uh, to teach without discrimination. Excuse me. To teach without discrimination. The other is the Yin Cai Shi Jiao. It's a teach with individual attention. I think everyone agrees that the ultimate goal of education is to achieve these two at the same time. If we use some modern term to, to explain this, then to teach without discrimination means you have a platform that everyone can enjoy the education. Everyone can provide his prof professional um, knowledge, expertise to teach someone else. And uh, uh, the customization means that you can provide everyone a personalized, a specialized session so everyone can learn what he needs and uh, with the best um, style that he can perceive what is taught. But something is disappointing that um, I, I'm wondering uh, if you know uh, for his whole life how many students has achieved has, has got the customized education from this gentleman. It's only 72. But now we have 7.2 billion people on earth to educate. So definitely, um, we think his ideals is good, but his uh, method or methodology is not doable at this moment. So how do we do this? I think for everyone who is uh, um, in the service industry know that the, the, the biggest problem of the service industry is you, if you want to achieve quality, scalability, and the cost effectiveness, the only way to do the three things at the same time is to find out some technology breakthrough. And we find we are lucky to um, have the opportunity to be at this breakthrough point. What breakthrough point? AI plus big data. We believe these two might be the ultimate hope, ultimate solution for us to make the uh, education a really customized services. So we do see the light, we do see the end of the tunnel, that finally we can fulfill the, the need to get everyone a very um, special designed, customized education with a, a reasonable cost, and it can have everyone share the same benefits. Okay, so delivering to millions like delivering to one. That's one of our slogans when we um, um, 
go into the uh, educational business. AI plus big data allows online education to drive into the ultimate individualization. Okay. Why are we talking about the ultimate individualization? If we see after the invention of the printing, we try to um, mass produce a standard version of the learning content. So everyone share the same textbook. Everyone learn from the same um, a standard version of a, a learning content. But actually, I believe no two people are identical in terms of education. And that there is no so-called normal distribution for education. You are normal, I am normal. Nobody is abnormal. Um, if you think about this, you will understand that everyone is actually belong to one category, his own category. So if we really want to make the uh, education or personalized services, we have to discard the, the, the concept of a normal distribution. How to do this? If we want to discard the mass production concept of uh, the traditional education, we have to make everything sufficient from the uh, supply side or even oversupply. So that for the demand side, the people have the, the right to choose the exact content and the, the most appropriate, the most matched teacher he wants. So our approach in China when we go into the uh, education industry, especially on the language training part, is to build an ecosystem, a platform. On that platform, you can see that all the teachers who is a um, professional in teaching English, programming, or mathematics, whatever kind of subjects, go into this platform. And all the people who are capable of right quality teaching material, we use the crowdsourcing way to get their contribution. They can write as many pieces of uh, learning um, content, lesson plans, and submit into this system. And of course, we have a lot of con uh, clients. By the way, uh, in the system, if you, because we want to make it a real user-centric service type of uh, business model, we intentionally make the name of teachers become a consultants and make the name of uh, the students become a clients. We want to change all the people's mind in this ecosystem that these students are not to be managed. These students are to be served. So combine all these elements into um, an ecosystem, a platform, with our education technology as the foundation. We provide the three major elements in any learning behavior, a best match methodology. So let's go into um, a bit deeper, deeper about this. When we talk about customization, actually there are two tier customization or individualization. The macro level of customization is the session arrangement or the curriculum design. For example, if someone uh, is going to our system and uh, uh, spend two years or 200 hours to learn languages, what 200 lessons you are going to assigned to them. And for the each lesson, what teaching material is assigned and which teacher is the best one to teach him? That might be different. The traditional way, we fix all people, maybe 40, 60, or even 100 into a single class and everyone read the same textbook. And the, the, the teacher, the only teacher will teach them for at least one semester. We don't believe this is the right way to do in this internet era. We have more choices. We have 2,000 or maybe even more teachers from all over the world. We don't need to have those students to fix on one teacher. Maybe for this session, this teacher is the best. But for another session, we think another teacher will, will have a better experiences or a, um, background or expertise to this. So all the session arrangement has to be done dynamically, 
But if you want to serve a half a million of students, like we do, there is no way to do it manually. So for the macro level customization, it counts on a well-designed algorithm plus a long-term accumulated big data so that you can find out the best learning path for each individual user. But when you go into any session, when the teacher begins to teach this session, the teacher becomes the major role, the, the leading actor or actress. He, he controls the whole session's the interaction. He controls the atmosphere or the chemistry. That's the three or four students learn from the teacher. He knows um, this one is passive. I need to um, encourage him. This one is a kind of talkative. Maybe I should control the session so that everyone else in this session have the chance to talk also. So all these things can be done very well by a, um, a professional teacher. And we believe, at least so far, there are no AI or robots can replace the live teachers to do all the things to this, you know, uh, this sophisticated um, level at this moment. So we think the best way to um, provide an, an online education to make the best use of the um, um, internet technology or AI is to make this a hybrid mode. Okay, because we think AI isn't to be all in and all. So we don't want to replace the important role of live teachers, but making good use of all state-of-the-art technologies to make the interaction between teachers and the students and the, between the classmates is something we can do and we should do at this internet era. Okay, so what do we do? Um, we separated the whole system we designed into three stages. The first one is the front end. In our front end, uh, we embedded uh, an AI technology to do facial recognition and the speech recognition. So it becomes a probe to help the teachers to control the interaction of the session. And then the middle tier, just to say, is the dynamic course generation algorithm to do every curriculum design. And at the, end, at the back end, we have a predicted kind of a customer care system to find any potential problem or um, a dissatisfaction of the customer. So we can provide them the differentiated services. By doing all this, we think we are marching into a true um, modern education with internet and the AI big data. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.